The first step in putting the alto saxophone together is opening the case properly. Place your saxophone case on a flat surface, checking that the latches are on the top side. Release the latches and open the lid. Take your reed out and place the thin end into your mouth to moisten it while you assemble your instrument. Next, place your neck strap around your neck. Then, if the cork on the neck of your instrument appears dry or if your instrument is new, rub a small amount of cork grease into the cork. Remember, it is important to place your case on a flat surface. Place your reed into your mouth to moisten it. And apply cork grease on any dry corks. The alto saxophone has four sections. They are the body of the instrument, the neck, the mouthpiece, and the ligature, the ring that fits around the mouthpiece. Carefully remove the body of your saxophone from the case. Loosen the screw at the top of the body and remove the end plug. Holding the body near its upper end, pick up the neck with your free hand and gently twist its larger end into the body. Be sure that the octave ring is over the octave key post. Be careful to avoid grasping around any keys since they can easily be bent. The neck should point in the opposite direction of the bell. Tighten the neck screw. Next, twist the mouthpiece onto the neck so that approximately half of the cork remains uncovered. The flat side of the mouthpiece should be on the underside as the instrument is held upright. By now, your reed should be fully moistened. Put the ligature around the mouthpiece so its screws extend to the right as you look at the flat side of the mouthpiece. Slide the ligature up just a little with your thumb. Place the flat side of the reed against the mouthpiece and slip it underneath the ligature. Lower the ligature so it loosely holds the reed in place and position the reed so only a hairline of the mouthpiece can be seen above the reed. Gently tighten the ligature screws. Attach the hook of your neck strap to the ring on the back of your saxophone. Adjust the length of the strap so the mouthpiece can easily enter your mouth. Remember, hold the body of your instrument near the upper end. Adjust the neck and then tighten the neck screw. And attach and adjust your neck strap. Let's learn how to properly hold the alto saxophone. When you play your instrument, your spine should be straight and tall, your shoulders back and relaxed, and your feet flat on the floor. Sit near the front edge of your chair. The alto saxophone is held so the mouthpiece easily enters your mouth, and the bell is either between your knees or to the right of your body. If held to the right side of your body, the lower end of the instrument will be against your right leg, close to your knee. With your instrument in the proper position, you are ready to learn hand shape and positions. The correct shape of both hands looks like a flat C. Now let's position your right hand. Place your right thumb under the thumb rest on the lower portion of the body. Be careful that your thumbnail faces your body and that only the area between the nail and joint is underneath the thumb rest. Let the fingers of your right hand curve naturally around the body using the flat C shape. The pads of your first three fingers should rest on the three ivory buttons, or keys, without pushing them down. Then, place your left thumb on the round thumb rest on the upper section of your instrument. Your left thumb should diagonally cross the thumb rest 
so it can also operate the octave key, the key directly above the thumb rest. Wrap your fingers around the instrument body using the flat C shape. Place the pad of your first finger on the first ivory button over a round key. Skip the next ivory button and then place your second and third fingers on the lowest of the two ivory buttons over round keys. Just let the pads of your fingers rest on these buttons without pressing any of them closed. Both of your thumbs should guide the angle of the saxophone into the proper playing position. These are the home base positions for your fingers and thumbs. Your little fingers should rest on the side keys. Remember, keep your spine straight, your shoulders back, and your feet flat on the floor. Avoid reaching toward your instrument by bringing your mouthpiece to your mouth. Use a flat C hand shape and place your left thumb diagonally across the thumb rest. Before we can play, we must learn about embouchure. Embouchure is how we form the muscles of our mouth around our mouthpiece. Let's try this first on the mouthpiece. Loosen the neck screw and take your mouthpiece and neck off your alto saxophone. Carefully lay the body of the instrument across your lap. Roll just a little of your lower lip over your bottom teeth. Next, point your chin down and lower your jaw slightly. This will open your teeth. Holding on to the neck, place the mouthpiece on the center of your lower lip so the reed extends about one half inch into your mouth. Place your top teeth on the mouthpiece and close your lips firmly around the mouthpiece. Your tongue should be underneath the reed. Using this embouchure, Place the tip of your tongue on the reed, just below the tip of the mouthpiece. Take a deep breath that fills your lungs. Then drop your tongue down and push the air from your lungs through the mouthpiece opening. It sounds like this. Let's try it together. One, two, ready, play. If you don't get any sound, you need to firm your lips around the mouthpiece a bit more. Do not raise your shoulders when you take a breath. Just take in air through your mouth. If you get a very high sound when you play, your embouchure is too tight. Slightly relax the corners of your mouth. Remember to keep your chin pointing down. To create a tone, your tongue can act like a faucet or valve that releases air into the mouthpiece. Put your mouthpiece back into your mouth, carefully following the steps to form the correct embouchure. Let's try playing four shorter notes. Take a good breath and say two as you drop your tongue to begin each note. One, two, ready, play. Did your tongue act like a faucet, releasing your airstream? Remember, roll just a little of your bottom lip over your teeth. Place the reed about one half inch into your mouth. Bring your top teeth down onto the mouthpiece and seal your lips around the mouthpiece. Let's take what you learned about your embouchure and try it on your saxophone. Twist your mouthpiece and neck back into your instrument. Remember to tighten the neck screw. The first note you learn is called D. With your fingers in their home base positions, press closed the three keys under the first three fingers of your left hand and the three keys under the fingers of your right hand. Also, roll your left thumb up to press open the octave key. Your little fingers should just rest in their home base positions without closing any keys. Before you play, check that your feet are flat on the floor, your shoulders are down and relaxed, and your instrument is in proper playing position. 
adjust your hand position, and check your embouchure. One, two, ready, play. Let's do it again and play the D as a long note. You will need to take a good breath and use your full air stream. If your shoulders go up as you breathe, you haven't taken a good breath. Relax and take in enough air to fill up your lungs. Don't forget to say two as you drop your tongue. One, two, ready, play. Let's play four shorter notes in a row. Remember to place your tongue back underneath your reed after each note, so you are ready to begin the next note. On the note D, it will sound like this. Now it's your turn. Just remember to say two as you release your tongue to begin each note. One, two, ready, play. Great! Keep practicing these exercises. Good playing habits will allow you to make fast progress. You are ready to move ahead in your book. Remember, keep your fingers in their home base positions. Roll your left thumb to operate the octave key. Always use a full airstream. And say the word two to begin each note. It is important to clean your alto saxophone before putting it back in its case. We take the saxophone apart in the reverse order of its assembly, being careful not to bend any keys or rods. First, remove the ligature and reed, and wipe any excess moisture off the reed. Place the ligature and reed case back in your saxophone case. Next, holding on to the neck, Twist off the mouthpiece and wipe it clean with a soft cloth before placing it into the case. Once a week, you should wash the mouthpiece with warm tap water. Thoroughly dry it before putting it away. Next, loosen the neck screw and twist the neck off the body of your saxophone. Shake any excess moisture from the neck and then dry it with a neck cleaner. Place it back in the case. Drop a weighted chamois or cotton swab into the bell and pull it out through the upper portion of the body. If you have a body saver, replace it into your instrument. Then put the end plug back in and place the body back in your instrument case. Don't forget to remove your neck strap and store it in a safe place. Close and latch the lid of your case. Your saxophone will be waiting for you, safe and sound, the next time you want to play. Remember, dry off your re and swab out the body of your instrument. Congratulations! Playing the alto saxophone is fun. Good luck and have a great time.